Alrighty, uh, <clears throat> alright, wow, it's been a while since I've done this, but welcome to Forza Horizon 4 and this Xbox Game Rex. And today I'm gonna be buying a car on here and I'm gonna be building it. So right now I'm in my 1957 Chevy Bel Air and I'm going to get a 1955 150 Sedan. I believe that's what it is. Ah, yeah, 150 utility sedan. It's basically the same thing, but a little bit different. And, um, I also am going to be showing, uh, the, this Bel Air and the 55 Hoonigan Bel Air difference after I build the 150 Bel Air. Or utility sedan, whatever you call it. Alright, um, editing with Upload Studio, let's see how this works. For me the video is a little choppy as well, but I'll try to get over it. Alright, so we're going to enter the festival site. While we're waiting, I got me a Corsair Crystal Series 2DX Micro ATX computer case. I'm going to be getting um, parts for it little by little. Yeah, there it is. 150 utility sedan. Alrighty. And, um, this is what we have right now. I was gonna choose any designs, but I'll just keep it color. Keep it its original color. Alright, saving. Come on. Right now, my, um, microphone. Well, not microphone. My microphone's working. Um,. My headset's not working. I can hear it in one side of the headphones, but not the other. So this is what it looks like from the inside. Or, yeah, all the way around and stuff. And we're gonna drive it around the block first. And then go upgrade it to see how it sounds different. Let's take a look at the engine. Yeah, I could do better. Yeah, but it looks nice engine though. Come on. Trying to get out of that. Alright, there we go. Right, let's go drive it. Alrighty. I also got me a new uh, gaming chair, it's an X-Rocker chair, just the one they sit on the ground and rocks. Probably hear it creeping. Yeah, this thing's pretty slow. Around the drift. I mean, for it's being slow, it has kind of good drift to it, possibly. I'm gonna try to see if I can take it uh, around this curve right here. Eh, that's not gonna happen. Well, oh, actually it did. Alright, let's go back up to the festival site. So. Lights on, there we go. I've changed my setup just a little bit. I have my um, Xbox One underneath my table. It's on a table, but it's underneath the table. It's my two smaller tables. Alright, so let's go to conversion first. Let's do an engine swap. Um, uh, 6.5 liter V12. Or, yeah, we're doing that one. And the all wheel drive drivetrain. And putting a twin turbo in there. Because uh, the 57 has a um, turbo. Keeping the original bumper. Yeah, keeping the original bumper. Adding a little wing to it, yep. Keeping the original bumper, definitely. And uh, I like that. That removes that plane. I have that on the 57. I like that one. I'm gonna go with that one because it looks better. There we 
There we go. Okay, now it's time to do the rims and the tires. So, all the way over. Basically, I have racing slicks on the bellers for some reason. It seems like it gets more traction. It does. That's nice. Uh, uh, I'm tired. Alrighty then. Tire width all the way over. Same thing for the back. Uh, big meaty tires. <laughs> Alright, now let's take a look at the rims. Oh. I'm gonna look at some crater rims right over here. I like those. Tire size, probably not. Uh, just upgrade that one. That's it. Okay, drive train now. Race clutch, just do everything. Race transmission, drive line, and tra differential. Sorry to say transmission. <laughs> you can get some good brakes for this. All the way down. Nice, nice. Alrighty. Alright, while I'm doing all that, I always, for some reason, upgrade it backwards. Like, I start with the conversion, I go to the tire area and appearance, and then I go to the tires and just backwards. It makes it easy for me instead of to, like doing all the engine upgrades first and then doing engine swap. Nah. Then it'll, you'll lose your uh, money and engine upgrades and you have to go at them all back in. I just hit my mic. Nice uh, giant turbo. This thing has so much power. <laughs> now what really has so much power is this one car that I have. Alright. <clears throat> Hold on. Oh, cramp. Foot. Alrighty now. Alright, sorry about that. I had a cough. Didn't want to cough on the mic. And if you hear the chair creaking, it's because I'm trying to get comfortable. Yeah, this chair is not that much comfortable. Okay, I'm just going to be doing some tuning to the car. Because it helps. Ah, nice. I, would, I need to get a new headphones because I don't want to hear them through like one side of the ear. Let's see if I can twist it around, like the cord around, see if I can make it. That I heard something on the. There we go. Now I can finally hear it through both if I just hold it in a certain spot. And I don't want to do that all day. Oh, never mind, I don't need to hold it. I can just leave it without touching it. Yeah, I don't need to touch the controller. That's nice. Alright, um, so yeah. It is December the 3rd. I'm recording this on. So... Man. I... Uh, oh, shit, uh, Man, I am tired. But anyway, I do. I did. Uh, can't talk. I did get um, the Texas flag tattoo with the cross on my last video when I did the um, when I said that I was gonna get the tattoos. Um, I did get it same exact spot where I said I was going to. I have it colored and everything. Oh, alrighty now. Tuning is all done now. Now, I'm just gonna paint it up a little bit. Ah, uh, see, I like the black, but I like other colors as well. I like that two tone right there, two tone polish. I must see if I get it to my liking. Black, ooh, I do. Oh, 
translation. So yeah, I do like that um, that blue color right there. I'm gonna stick with that. Um, that, that puts it all the way there, so keep it the same. Forgot to save it. Or no. Nah. Yeah, I like that. So that's what I'm gonna go with. Alrighty now. Um, damn it. Didn't save. Go back and do it again. Forgot to hit the save button. Um, I will um, upload a video of my setup when I get my computer like officially built you know like to where I can be able to turn it on because I, right now I just have the case for it um I need to get all like all the stuff that needs to go inside like the power supply the motherboard the other two fans RGB fans or whatever I, ha I have two RGB fans in there right now but it's just the case it's still in the plastic all right Let's see that just does nothing. I was gonna paint the rims. But I don't see anything with that, so I'm probably just gonna leave it alone. Let's see, should I paint these? I mean, I can, but I'm not. Let's see, this one. I mean, yeah, I could roll with that, but I like the dark blue, but I want them chrome because the rest of the car is chrome as well. Alright, saving. Come on. I'm in the middle of trying to record a video. I don't need a party invite. Probably gonna get spammed with the invites though. Alright. Uh, um. See, here's the other livers that they got with them. Yep, there goes the spamming with invites. I can't do anything about it either. Alright, yeah, I'm not liking these. Alright, so that is done. Now let's go test this thing out. Right off the bat, good launch. A little choppy video, but it's okay. And there we go. It handles really nicely, is all I gotta say. Except for that part, because I have the racing slicks. If I didn't have the racing slicks, I would stick on the road. Alright, and we're headed back. And look at that brute force. Smashed right into a Lamborghini or Ferrari, one of the cars. Ferrari, that's what I think it was. And good brakes. And it drifts nice as well. Alright, let's take it over to the drag strip right over here kind of loud sounds in this area of the Horizon Festival. Alright, I'm just waiting for them to all switch to green and I'm gonna, like, let it go again. There we go. Uh, I was gonna use first person, but nah. I mean, you know, inside the vehicle camera. Goes the other side. Three. I'm right. I'm watching the right uh, one. The right timer clicker. You know, light switch or change or whatever stoplight or whatever you call it. Three, two, one, go. Yeah. Well, I gotta say, that's a good break, though. <laughs> I mean, it doesn't stop on a dime, but I could drift it, though. Just 
flame. Alright, we're going back the other way now. Come on, cars, get out of my way. Alright, so what I'm going to do now is head back to the house and grab the 57 and the Hoonigan and um, compare them to this one. This one and the Hoonigan is the same year, but two different cars. It seems like they're the same cars, but they're actually two different cars. 150 utility sedan and a Bel Air. I mean, yeah, they would seem like two, two of the same cars because they look the same, but they're not. Alright, I'm gonna go to my usual spot to where I um, go test out things. Come on. Alright, so this road. This is the road that uh, I did the best moments on to where I made the ground dis- well not made the ground disappear, but I was going too fast and the ground disappeared for me. I swear that them people did not get scared at all when I slammed into that. So yeah, when I was like, in my last video, to what I did, I um... I was going really fast and the ground kind of disappeared on me, texture loss. Alright, so here we go. Besides that fucking car. Or it's a tell ya. That's what it was. Alright, let's try this again. Alright, we've already hit uh, 150. And 80, 290. Alright, we hit 200. Satisfied. Let's see if we can do it again. And we hit 200 again. Alright. I'm satisfied. Okay, now. Um, now, this is the Bel Air and the Hoonigan Bel Air. As you can see, two different sounds, two different cars. Same car, two different years, I meant to say. I'm trying this out. This is a new thing for me. I don't like the name tag above it. To where it says my camera tag, but oh well. I mean, they were gonna be focused on one or the other. I'm not sure yet. See, I'm the Bellers over here. I like the 57 because it has the wing on there. Not the, you know, the, the fins, not the wings, but the fins. That one don't. Like, it ha the one I'm talking about, the fins, it has the chrome siding on it. That one don't. And I, for some reason, I like the Bel Airs with red and a white top, for some reason. Okay. So, the Hoonigan took off. Hoonigan's at 100 and 200. Wow. 200 now. And the 57 is at 200 now. And as you can see down there in the bottom right corner with the Hoonigan, it's very hard to control. And this, the 57 up here at the top, is a lot better with control sometimes. That is my drag uh, build for that one. And that's the end of that, and... Ah, that's the end of that one. Top one's not finished yet because the bottom right corner was a short little video and this one was not. And, well, actually, that's it. I did this in three different videos. I did the uh, 55 utility sedan, and then I grabbed this one did it, so that's why this one's a little bit longer. And then I grabbed the Hoonigan, which is the last video, and um, 
Okay. Yeah. So this is going to be it for today. All right. Um, this is, like I said in the last clip, this is a uh, this is a different clip I just added so I can finish the outro. Or right, for some reason, it didn't let me because I pushed the time limit. All right. So like I said, y'all, this is going to be the um, end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. Bye.